and uh, in that case the lane changes are very important how many lane changes are happening and from which lanes and so on and so forth so we looked at the procedure for that and then uh, we started this example uh, we have a weave segment with three lanes free flow speed of 65 miles per hour for the freeway the short length is 1850 feet short length is the length between the two ramps okay from goal point to goal point the volume of the main line meaning the freeway is 4650 vehicles per hour entering volume is 75 vehicles per hour so this is entering from the ramp exiting is 730 vehicles per hour ramp to ramp is 175 vehicles per hour uh, all traffic streams have 10 percent trucks and level terrain interchange density is given 0.9 interchanges per mile we have to find out the capacity and level of service of the weaving segment what we did up to now was uh, calculate the heavy vehicle adjustment factor. Okay, so for level terrain, ET was 2 and percentage of trucks are 10%. So FHV is 0.91. Then we have the flow rates. Uh, we calculate the flow rates for the main line. Okay, uh, means freeway to freeway. Then entering means ramp to freeway. Uh, exiting means freeway to ramp. And 175 was ramp to ramp. Okay, so these flow rates were given. We just used uh, or we assumed a peak hour factor, okay, 0 0.92 because it was required, and we also calculated the heavy vehicle adjustment factor, so 0.91. So now we have all the flow rates in vehicles per hour. Then we calculated the number of lane changes, okay, which was basically uh, ramp to freeway multiplied by the uh, number of lanes required to be changed from going to uh, ramp to freeway okay and then freeway to ramp and then multiply with the number of lanes required to go from freeway to ramp okay and these i was using this where is it i was using this equation okay so it's a, a standard three lane segment which means this one Okay, so to go from uh, ramp to freeway, you can see the blue line. I need one lane change and to go from freeway to ramp again, you can see the red line. I just need one lane change. Okay, so LCRF and LCFR both were one and just multiply with the flow rates. So basically I did them. Okay, so we did up to here and did we calculate as max? Yes, we calculated as max as well, which is 5,115 feet. Now the the rule is if L max is more than L s, if L max is more than L s, then we will consider it a weaving segment. Otherwise, we will just continue. You know, uh, uh, we will just continue uh, uh, for this segment as a basic freeway segment. If L max is less than L s, then this segment will be considered as a basic freeway segment, and you will. Uh, do the analysis accordingly as a basic freeway segment will not be used as a weaving uh, segment okay then the next step which i told you to do it yourself to find out the capacity in ideal conditions okay ciwl and then check if it is fulfilling these ranges okay and then calculate the cw using this one or this one so give me the value of this uh, ideal capacity of weaving segment. How much is this value? Yeah. Did anybody do it? <clears throat> Nobody did it. Hmm? You guys need some grace to do good things, right? Okay, my mistake. Okay, so the freeway uh, free flow speed was 65. I gave you this uh, table from which you can get the freeway uh, capacity. I think there was another table in one of the previous chapters as well. 
So at the speed of 65, the capacity is 2350 passenger cars per hour per day. 2350 passenger cars per hour per day. So this will be the capacity of freeway segment under ideal condition, CIFL. And then we have 38.2 one plus VR calculate VR yes 0 0.25 this to the power 1.6 close the bracket and plus 0 0.0765 how much is LS? 50. Plus 119.8. Number of weaving lanes. So number of weaving lanes is the auxiliary, auxiliary lane plus the immediate lane of the freeway in normal cases. Okay, and I showed you the other cases as well uh, when we were discussing the lane changes. Okay, so give me this value. Two one zero five. Two one zero five passenger cars per hour per day. Okay, now uh, we have a check here for applying this check. I have to calculate CIW. CIW means the capacity for all lanes combined. This is per lane. CIWL is per lane. Okay, and I have three lanes. Okay, so if one lane has 2105, then how much for three lanes? Give me the capacity for three lanes. Zero five into three. How much? Six three one five. Six three one five passenger cars per hour per day. Okay, not not per day, not per day. Okay, uh, and then the check is for three for three lane. If NWL number of weaving lane is two, which is our case, then uh, this value of CIW should be. Uh, less than or equal to 2500 upon VR. So 25, uh, sorry, 2400 upon VR. Okay. So 2400 upon VR is how much? How much is 2400 upon VR? VR is 0.25. Max. How much is it? 9,600. 9,600. Passenger cars per hour. Okay, the value which we calculate is less than this. Okay, so I will take this value. If CIW was more than CIW max, then I will take the maximum value. Okay, so either you take the CIW or you take the CIW max, whichever is uh, less. Okay, so CIW is less, I will take this value. Okay, so then I will calculate uh, the capacity uh, for viewing segment and uh, the, the 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 actual conditions, not the base conditions. Okay, so it will be uh, CIW, and you will take CIW six three one five. Multiply by the uh, the heavy vehicle adjustment factor, which is 0 0.91. You already calculated. 
and we CIW is already multiplied with the number of links. OK, so I don't have to multiply again. Give me the value here. Five seven four seven. Five seven four seven. Okay, now we need to check it with the capacity with the flow on the freeway. Okay, the flow on the freeway is five 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 four, and this one is five seven four seven. Okay, so we are below this one, so we did not reach capacity yet. Okay, so the level of service can still be calculated, otherwise the level of service would be F. Okay. The next thing we have to calculate is the uh, the lane changes per mile. OK, and so there are two types of three types of lane changes. The required lane changes by the weaving vehicles, the optional lane changes by the weaving vehicles because of their misposition. So they are in the long wrong lane. So they have to make extra lane changes to get into their lane and the optional lane changes by the non weaving vehicles, which is to avoid the a turbulence of the weaving vehicles. So weaving vehicle are, vehicles are making some turbulence in the ramp, in the lanes close to the ramps. People want to avoid it, so they are making the lane change to the outer lanes. OK, so for the first two types for the weaving vehicles, the lane changes are, are these. OK, you will calculate the uh, date of lane changes using this. OK, so I'll see minimum. We have already we already have these values. OK. As a minimum is calculated, LS is the short length and is a number of lanes three and interchange density is given. OK, so LC minimum. Uh, we are calculating LC W. So LC minimum is 1917 plus 0.39. Less is how much? Fifty. Fifty minus three hundred. To the power zero point five. To one square. Okay, and this is all multiplied. Okay, and square. One plus interchange density is given 0.9. The power 0 0.8. And yeah, if you want, I can put a bracket here. <clears throat> Let me sort out the powers. OK, so give me this value. How much is this? N is three. Sorry. N is three. Doctor, what is um... N is three, three lanes. Uh, is it is it for the whole highway or or uh, the weaving segments only? It is the number of highways of the number of lanes of the highway. Okay, doctor, it's written in the question that the weaving length, the weaving segment has three lanes. Three lanes. Do yeah. they? Do they mean the weaving segment has three lanes or the whole freeway? Ah, uh, 
these are the number of lanes for the freeway okay in this segment and this is what we need to know and that's it what maybe there is another segment after this one for the same freeway which has four lanes we don't know and we don't need to know okay but the, the only thing segment need... is the standard two two lanes Weaving segment standard is uh, uh, three three lanes means the three lanes is of the freeway. Okay. Auxiliary lane not included. This is what they mean here. Okay. And this is going to be the curve two one four eight. Sorry. Uh, two one four eight. Two one four eight. Okay, and they call it lane changes per mile. Okay, the so units are lane changes per mile. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, lane changes per hour. Sorry, lane changes per hour. Okay, so this is for the weaving uh, people. Okay, then we will have the non weaving uh, lane changes. We make it bigger. So you have to calculate uh, first of all intensity of non-weaving, which is LS integer density non-weaving uh, flow rate upon 10,000. Okay. So um, I N W equals LS, which is 1850. Multiply by ID, which is 0 0.9 inch change density. Multiply by non-weaving flow rate. Okay. Uh, non-weaving flow rate is this one. Freeway to freeway and ramp to ramp. Okay. Random bracket here. Divide by 10,000. Okay, how much? Nine sixty. No units given here. Okay, so I'll just take it as it is. Then you come to this table to find out the value of LC and W1. Okay, so we have three equations, and you decide the equation based upon the value of I and W. Our I and W is this one. Okay, but we will calculate the values using both the first and second equation. Okay, both the first and second equation. I will tell you the reason after uh, in the end. So you will calculate the value using this one and as well as using this one. Okay, so LC and W1. Was 0 0.06. And two, the non weaving flow rate, which is 5554 plus 209 plus 0.542 into the shortening, which is 1850 minus 192.6 into number of planes, which is 3. Okay, so you will calculate it using this one, and you will also calculate as C and W2. 135 and we have this adding so I can just put it like this 5554 plus 209 minus 2000 okay, so give me both values
Yes. Sorry, second one. Second one. Two nine. Seven four. Seven four. Okay. Now the condition is uh, ideally we should have taken the first value. Ideally, we should have taken the first value, but they, they have given a condition that whenever the second value is higher, we will take the second one as the final value. So in any case, you have you will calculate both the values. And whenever the second value is higher, you will take the second value as the highest one. Oh, sorry, as the last one. OK, so uh, five equation 5.57 will be used even if I and W is uh, less than or equal to 1300. Even if I and W is less than or equal to 1300, you will use a uh, value from equation 5.57 if it is higher than the first equation. OK, so you can see here it is higher than the first equation. So this is this is my final value. OK, so when I calculate uh, lane changes in uh, the to or total lane changes, it will be the weaving lane changes, which is 2148 plus the non weaving, which is 2974. So how much is it? Five one two two. Five one two two. Uh, lane changes per hour. Okay. Then let us. The next step is to calculate the speed of the weaving beakers and the non-weaving beakers. Okay. Now you can see SAF here. SAF means the speed adjustment factor. Okay, and a speed adjustment factor will be applied if you are given uh, adverse weather conditions. The weather conditions are not good and you are given a work zone. Both these conditions are not given to us. So SAF is one then. If these are given, then I already showed you a table and the procedure to calculate the uh, speed adjustment factor for the work zone as well as the uh, weather. In the uh, traffic engineering course, the book we were using, they also had the factor for the incidents as well, but not for the speed. Okay, for the speed we have these two. And they had a factor for driver population as well. <clears throat> but it is like, you know, you are just looking at the tables. Okay. So, but in any case, no such conditions are given. So we will just stick to what is given to us. So we have to calculate the uh, speed of the weaving vehicles and we need W value for this. Okay. So W is this one. So w equals 0 0.226. I see all which you just calculated. 5122 divided by LS, which is 1850, short length, and uh, power 0 0.789. Okay. How much you get? Zero point five. Zero point five. Okay. Then the speed of the weaving vehicles. Fifteen. speed which is 65 minus 15 
divided by 1 plus w so 1 plus 0.5 how much 48.2 48 point two. Forty eight point two miles per hour. Okay, this is speed. Then speed of the non weaving weakers. This this one S and W. We have uh, free flow speed, which is sixty five. Minus 0 0.00, how many zeros? Two zeros. 72 multiplied by SC minimum, which is 0.17 minus Double zero four eight upon flow upon uh, number of lanes. So flow is the total flow. Total flow should be then uh, for the for the freeway then. Yeah, right. How much was it? Five, five, five. Four. Okay. Forty two. Okay. Then we will calculate the overall speed of the segment using this equation. So this is S. Uh, weaving plus non weaving weaving was uh, i think we calculated here where is that we are yeah weaving is 1917 and non weaving is this whole thing so 1917 plus non weaving divided by the weaving volume which is 1917 divided by the speed 48.2 let me put a bigger bracket here non weaving which is this whole thing 5554 plus 209 divided by 40 2.3 okay just to tell you how did we get this equation for s basically uh, s is uh, flow upon density speed equals flow upon density we already know that because flow equals speed into density the basic equation of traffic flow so you can you can see in the numerator this is flow this is flow and what is this s this is flow upon speed. So flow upon speed is density. So this is flow upon speed for the weaving vehicles. This is flow upon speed for the non-weaving vehicles. So this is speed of the sorry. This is density of the weaving vehicles and density of the non-weaving vehicles. Okay. So basically, what they are doing is they are doing flow upon density, and the density is calculated in the denominator as speed upon, oh sorry, as flow upon speed. Okay. Yeah. How much?
43.6 miles per hour then we need to calculate the density so density is the complete flow divided by number of uh, lanes okay so complete flow is how much did you take it divided by number of lanes which is three okay and this is whole divided by the speed which is 43.6 okay Forty two point four six. Forty two point four six. Uh, density units. What? What are the units here? Car per hour per car per mile. Vehicles per mile. Make up your mind. What do you want to Vehicles say? per mile. Because for mile, which is this is wrong. Okay, we got an F. Okay, anyone else? Yeah. Anyone else? Units of density. What? Passenger car per mile per lane. Passenger car per mile. It could have been vehicles per uh, mile, but uh, we are using the flow rate in passenger cars. So obviously, it's in passenger cars. So it cannot be in vehicles. So this is uh, the one, and then if you need the density, density is equal to, where is it? Uh, you, you have the density, you want level of service, so level of service is taken from here, level of service from here, you can see 40, uh, you have 42.46, right? So which is this one, so level of service is E. Level of service E. Okay, so just looking into the table. So this is, the complete procedure do you have any any questions any questions okay uh, so um, up till now we have seen how to calculate the uh, speed and uh, uh, density and level of service for different types of freeway segments how many types of freeway segments have we discussed? Can somebody name the types of freeway segments we have discussed up till now? Tell me. The types of freeway segments we have discussed in this uh, chapter or in this topic. How many types of uh, freeway segments we have discussed? We just completed one, which was what? Which which type is there? that? The weaving segment. Weaving segment. Before weaving segment, in the last lecture, we completed uh, two others. Which were those? Merge and diverge. Merge and diverge. So this is three types, and the one which we have been doing since the uh, traffic engineering course. Which one is that? We did it again here. In Uninterrupted. This Uninterrupted. All of them are uninterrupted. All of them are uninterrupted. What What is the name which I gave to that section? What is the name which they gave to that freeway. section? Freeway. Freeway. All of them are freeways. All of them are freeway segments. All of them are uninterrupted. I'm saying which type of freeway segment was that? That was that was the one without any ramp, right? So what do they What do they call it? I use the term today as well when we were uh, when I was explaining LMAX. You call it what? Basic. Basic freeway. Basic freeway segment. Okay, so we have four types of freeway segments. All of them are considered uninterrupted. All of them are part of the freeway. Okay, because the ramps are not considered as interruptions. They cause more turbulence, but they co don't cause any interruption. Interruption is when you ask the driver to stop for you. Okay, so with a ramp, you don't ask the driver to stop. Okay, 
so we have basic freeway we have merge we have diverge and we have uh, weaving now one particular freeway may have all of them or some of them okay so freeways freeways are very long highways they are uninterrupted flow facilities and they are very long usually so in one freeway you will have multiple segments okay some of them may be merged some of them diverge some of them may be weaving and some of them will be definitely basic freeway segments as well so you calculate the speed and the uh, density and level of service for each one of them separately okay now somebody comes and says i want the level of service for the complete freeway as one value okay give me the level of service of the whole freeway as one value then how would you do it okay so this is uh, these are the two equations you see here 5.65 and 5.66 which are to calculate the speed and density for the complete facility for the complete facility okay so this is for the uh, calculating the speed of the facility facility means the whole freeway now combine for all the segments combine for all the segments okay so you, first of all you will decide for which time you are doing it for which time interval you are doing it so that is p so obviously you should have the flow and the speed and everything for that time interval okay this is uh, this is what you have to fix earlier so p is a time interval for which you are doing the analysis amp cover pmp pmp cover whatever then the, all the values for flow and uh, speed and peak hour factor everything should be for that time period ns is the number of segments in your freeway okay so how many number of segments you have okay including all types okay this is, this is just, just a number okay so you have five segments six segments whatever okay so we know flow equals speed into density so uh, speed equals flow upon density so you can see the flow here and then flow upon speed basically they are doing f upon s flow upon speed to get the density like we did for the weaving segment so numerator we have flow denominator we have flow upon speed okay what is l l is the length of each segment so you will take the flow of a segment and multiply with the length okay and again same thing in the denominator as well okay and uh, so you will if you have six segments you will have six terms here and you will find out the the overall average speed of the facility okay and then same thing for the density as well you can see they, they are taking density so we already know how to calculate density of each segment we already know that we have done that done that for basic freeway for uh, you know other segments as well so uh, this is uh, density of each segment multiply the length of the segment divide by length into uh, what is then here number of lanes in the segment number of lanes in the segment okay so we have the density uh, okay multiply by the length and divide by the summation of length into number of lanes okay so now you can see here with each term they are multiplying with the length they are multiplied with the length this is like a weighting mechanism this is a weight so a segment which has long which is longer has more weight on the speed obviously if you have for example uh, a freeway of 2 miles for example okay for 2 miles out of those 2 miles 1.5 mile is one segment of uh, basic uh, type out of 2 miles there is one segment which has a length of 1.5 miles and it is basic freeway segment so obviously that segment will have more effect on the overall speed right that segment because it is longer it will have more effect on the overall speed okay so we multiply with the length each time we are taking the flow or the density we are multiplying with the length so that we are you know uh, weighing it more to put more weight on the segments which are longer and vice versa the segments which are shorter which have less weight okay which have will have less effect so this is like a weighting mechanism weighing mechanism for uh, you know making sure the segments which are longer have more effect on the speed and density and vice versa okay so once you calculate this uh, the density you can calculate the level of service from this table and this is the same table which i showed you for basic freeway segment as well okay you have the density find out the level of service okay and speed is generally used you know for for you know many purposes average speed is required for many purposes so it is not a 
you know, because you can calculate the density directly, right? So speed is just another major and ex extra major. You don't need it for the level of service here, but just to have it, okay, just to know the speed. Okay, so uh, this is how you calculate the overall level of service for the whole free winner. So you have to do it for each segment and then you do it for the entire freeway as well. Okay. So are there any any questions here? Any questions? And again, make sure all the analysis is done for the same time interval. When you're adding the values, the flow and the density and uh, everything should be for the same uh, time period. Okay, so we have just five minutes left. I will explain the exam procedure for you. Uh, so uh, it will it will have uh, it will be one hour Tuesday 23rd March uh, from 9 to 10 and uh, it will have two parts theory theory including five multiple choice five two and fours okay it should not take you more than uh, six seven minutes I think okay five Multiple choice, five, two, and false. Okay. Theory link will be open first. Okay. Both parts will be on Blackboard. Both parts will be on Blackboard. Okay. Both parts will be on Blackboard. So you will see the link for the theory exam first only. The, the numerical part will not be open in the first five minutes. So you cannot attempt the numerical part uh, till 9.05. Yeah. Okay. For the first five, five minutes, you have to attempt the theory part. And if you miss the theory part, you missed it. So you have to start the theory part in the first five minutes. Otherwise, you will miss it. Then you will move on to the numerical part. Okay. Numerical part will have two questions, two numericals. Okay. Uh, and uh, the, the material for the exam is from uh, lecture one to lecture three, the one which you just completed. Lecture one to lecture three. Uh, so theory and numerical can be from any of these lectures. For the numerical part, as, as I said, the link will appear at 9.05 and it will uh, remain there till 10. It will remain there till 10. Okay. You have to, uh, everything is included in that time. You read the question, you uh, solve it, you upload it, everything is included. Two numericals, it should not take you more than, uh, you know, 30, 40 minutes. Okay. So you still have like 15, 10, 15 minutes for uploading. Okay. But, uh, uh, okay. Uh, so you upload it on the Blackboard. If you have any problem, send it on Teams. Do not contact me on WhatsApp. Okay. Do not send me any file on WhatsApp. Okay. I just want to communicate through Teams. Okay. Now from 9 to 10 a.m., you will, you will keep your cameras open. You will be online. You will keep your cameras open. You will be in front of the camera from 9 to 10. No matter if you do the exam earlier or later, it doesn't matter. You will remain on camera uh, from 9 to 10 in Teams. I will record it. If you are if you are not in the recording, like uh, your video is not in the recording, then I will cancel your exam. Okay. Don't you know uh, make me you know remind you during the exam that this guy is not on the camera, this girl is not on the camera. This is your responsibility. Okay. I, I have the Video not on the camera, your exam is there, I will cancel it. Okay. Regarding the theory part, I'm doing you a favor. The favor is you can, as I said, you can start the theory part at 9 a.m., 9 01, 9 02, 9 05. Till 9 05, you can start. After that, the link will be gone. So you cannot start it. Then I, my suggestion is just go for the numerical part and that's it. Numerical part 70%, theory part only 30%. So don't waste your time over. 30% and, and lose 70%. Okay. What I'm doing you as a favor is the total time for the numerical part is 15 minutes. Sorry, for the theory part is 15 minutes. You have to start in the first five minutes, but after your starting time, you have 15 minutes. Okay. So at 9.15, at 9.15, uh, whoever is doing the, uh, the theory part after that, I will force his completion of the, the theory part. Okay. So the last... Uh, the deadline for submitting the theory part is 9.15. If you are doing it after 9.15 as well, I will force complete it from the system. Okay, I will not ask you. 
and force completed from the system. And why this is a favor? Because this is what you guys will be doing. Uh, you know, you will be wasting time over 30% and losing 70%. If you cannot answer five multiple choice, five true and false in 15 minutes, you can forget, uh, you know, passing this course or any course. Okay, so 15 minutes is more than enough time. Okay. So I think, uh, yeah. So if, do you have any questions now? Do you have any questions you can ask me? I'm done. Um, the first of the numerical parts. Sorry? For the numerical parts. Um, okay. Both, uh, tables and the promote be given? Yeah, I will, I will upload a sheet for the numerical part. The sheet will have the values. So each one will have a different value for his uh, question. Okay, and I will also uh, give you the formula sheet, formula sheet including the, the equations and tables and everything, and the questions as well. So there will be one file attached with the numericals, which will have all these things. Um, Doctor, can you give us the formula and the tables from now so we can print them? You then you print all of them then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just the. So, uh, getting my point. If I give you the numerical, the the formula and the tables which are which will. For the questions which will come in the exam only, then you know the the questions, then. Eh? <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. If you want to print it, then you print all of them without questions. Okay. So this is this is the thing. I cannot give you in advance. Doctor, I have a question regarding the equation for the capacity for the mm -hmm. weaving segment. Yeah. Why we are multiplying the capacity by the FHV, the heavy vehicle factor, to make it in vehicle per hour? In vehicle per hour, yeah. Why we are making it in, uh, using it's vehicle just per check. hour? It's just, just for checking, just for checking. Oh, okay. You check it with the flow rate which is coming to the freeway, and if it is less than that, then we are fine. Okay. Oh, okay. And I should have, sorry, I should have checked with the, 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 flow, the volume which is... Uh, in vehicles per hour. I should have checked with the volume which is in vehicles per hour. I checked it with the flow rate, but obviously the volume is less. The flow rate was higher. So if you did not reach uh, F with the flow rate, you did not reach it with the volume as well. So sorry, uh, thanks for pointing it out. When you are checking the capacity, the first thing which we did today, since you are calculating it in vehicles per hour in the end, okay, so you must check it with the volume which is given in vehicles per hour, okay. Uh, I checked it with the flow rate, but it will not change the the answer. Okay, the answer is it, it does not have level of service F. Even if you check with the volume, it, it does not have level of service F. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Okay, thank you for pointing it out. Uh, any other uh, question? Okay, uh, if you want to have an idea how this uh, you know works out, if you have anybody who is in traffic. If you know any friend who is in traffic, I have just taken their exam this week. You can uh, you can ask them how did it go. And if anybody you know who has taken highway with me in the last semester, their final exam was also in the, on the same pattern. Okay, so you can ask them how did it go. Okay, Dua Abdul Rasool, Dua Abdul Rasool, Ali Akil, Ali Salah. Okay. Iman Kamil, Asma Khalil, Ara, okay. Iman, okay, fine. Nujus Salah, Dana Nasir, Nadine Hussam. Okay, Nujus Nuju Salah. Not here. Noor Yusuf, Dana Isa, Reem Abdul Hamid, Noor Dana, okay, Reem, okay. Zainab Muhammad, Asir Adnan, Nadir Abdul Munim, okay, Asil, okay. Latifa Hamal, Salma Jafar, Qasim Tahir, Latifa, okay, Salma, Qasim. Okay. 
Whether is here, okay. Muhammad Akbar, Ahmad Amin, Ibrahim Muhammad. Okay, Ahmad Amin. Not here. Okay. Thank you. See you guys on Sunday, inshallah. Have a nice weekend. Sunday, I will not give you the quiz. Okay. You will not have the quiz you have because you have the exam, right? So prepare for the exam. Uh, and, you know, I will have all the questions in the exam. Okay. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.